Nicola Askham here back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series and today's question is one that was recently sent in to me and I've been asked it a few times over the years and I thought it really warranted doing a video on it. So today's question is which data standards should a data governance framework or program follow? And I thought this was a really good question because in my view it's coming at it from the wrong angle because if you use external data quality standards how do you know that they're right internally for your company so my way of thinking is that you always always have to start putting in place the data governance framework first because this means that you get the right people involved and engaged as your data owners and your data stewards and they are the people that get to decide what the data standards should be for the data that they own so it could be that you have a, a data owner for some data that does have uh, an external international standard, say like the ISO country codes or currency codes, but it's more likely that you're going to have a lot of data internally that doesn't have external standards. And even if you do have external standards, you wouldn't necessarily want to comply with them. It may not be useful for your business to do so for any variety of reasons. So my best advice is get the data governance framework in place with the roles and responsibilities and then it's over to the data owners to agree what standards are needed and which ones are useful for their business. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by liking and commenting on this post and sharing it on your choice of social media. And don't forget, if you've got a question you'd like me to answer in a future video, just email it into questions at nicolaaskham.com.